I'm going to do a cast on bullion. You're going to anchor your thread in the back of the canvas. You're going to come up at the bottom of the design area, which is point A. You're going to go down at the top of the design area or wherever you want the bullion to end, and that's point B. Keep your thread on the top, pull your needle to the back, and then come up at point A, and only bring your needle up part way. Then you want to pick up your thread, you want to twist it around your finger, and you want to twist it so that it's crossed over in the back. Flip your finger and put it on the needle so that it loops around the needle underneath. And you're just going to keep doing that until you fill up the space. And these bullion needles are nice because they're all the same size from the tip on down and they'll make it easy to pull your thread out, thread through, but don't pull real, real tight because you have problems sliding it off. You just want it snugged down so they come right next to each other. Bend your needle over and see if you're close to point B. And we want to put a couple more on here. making sure they're just next to each other. A couple more, I guess. If you put too many on it, it will make this kind of stand up. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to grasp the loops we've made. We're going to pull the needle through. See how easy that pulled through. Going to hang onto those loops the flourishes and we're going to let it pull down and we're just going to pull it tight we're going to go back through the canvas at B we're going to snug it down and we've got a little twist in our flourishes which is fine if that's the way you want it to look and there you go that's a cast on bullion